They were two very different people who became close friends over a shared love of photography. In little more than a decade, Harry Callahan and Aaron Siskind became giants in their field, and as teachers, they turned Chicago into a hothouse of talent. On the art beat, here is a portrait of two groundbreaking photographers. This is the lens of a camera. And this is a 1957 episode of an arts program called Imprint. In it, photographer Harry Callahan is interviewed by his friend and colleague, Aaron Siskind. Well, uh, was this picture uh, taken... Uh, uh, was this picture oh, this taken particular, this particular uh, picture was made much later at, uh, uh, here in Chicago on State Street in the Loop. I uh, walked up and down, shot uh, hundreds of pictures of uh, people walking, people fighting the sun, people who were lost in their thoughts. You see him working in series and working out problems through pictures like these. And what he gets is a sort of interiority of the pedestrian where you start to wonder what they're thinking about and get the humanity of strangers. Harry Callahan and Aaron Siskind taught together at the Institute of Design, then located on the campus of IIT. From the basement of Crown Hall, they encourage students to experiment with materials and think creatively. When you look at photography from a historical standpoint, they were considered the most important teaching combo in probably in the history of American photography. Their way of making art emerged from the European avant-garde because the Institute of Design was a direct descendant of the Bauhaus movement that escaped Nazi Germany in the 1930s. Born and raised in Detroit, Harry Callahan was self-taught, and before he came to Chicago, he learned what he called a Bible of techniques from the great landscape photographer Ansel Adams. New Yorker Aaron Siskind, seen here in a picture by Callahan, was a photographic force in his own right. At the invitation of Harry Callahan, he joined the faculty of the Institute of Design in 1951. Together, their work captured mid-20th century Chicago, America, and beyond. They made memorable photos that pushed the medium, and they spent their days in the classroom. I came to the Institute of Design about 11 years ago, and I was uh, strongly influenced by, uh, uh, by the school. Harry Callahan the was very reticent, very shy about speaking, nervous about getting much. up in front of the class. And, uh, and Aaron Siskind, by contrast, was this gregarious, very confident, very talkative guy. He had been teaching English in the New York City public schools for years before coming to Chicago and was very comfortable standing up in front of a class. Harry Callahan was a family man who often photographed his wife and muse, Eleanor. He took pictures in nature, in the city, wherever he found inspiration. Aaron Siskin's first interest was documentary photography, but he increasingly sought abstractions in everyday forms. They were very, very different personalities, but they had fundamentally similar approaches to photography as an art. And together, they complemented each other in wonderful ways. There's one student who said, uh, I never thought of Harry and Aaron. It was always Harry and Aaron. One word, no space. Chicago Tonight caught up with two former pupils of Harry and Aaron, students who also became noted artists and teachers. I did a project photographing American adolescents from uh, 1959 to 1964, and Aaron was, a, was a, my advisor, and he was wonderful because uh, he would tell me very little, and he, you know, he let me struggle, and uh, I think that when when you let somebody struggle, they find their own voice. Uh, Harry, uh, I think anybody would agree, taught by example. Uh, he would say very few words, but his words were golden. You'd hang on any word that he would give you back. You looked at his expression, you looked at how long he held a print and looked at it, and you gauged you know, by the second, basically, you know, how quickly he turned it over, something about the quality of it. And if he held on to it for like 15 seconds, you were in heaven. No matter what they were teaching you, the fact is one thing you knew is they were also, when they were not talking to your, the class, they were out pe making pictures. And that's very profound for a young person to realize. 
Harry Callahan's photos often featured a strong sense of geometry and an amazing tonal range. Aaron Siskin continued to dive deeper into abstraction, influencing leading abstract painters of the era. He was close friends with uh, Franz Klein and uh, Motherwell and de Kooning, and he was part of that, that group. He is literally the person that connects uh, abstract photography in America with, with this important abstract painting school. In 1961, Harry Callahan left the Institute of Design to establish the photography department at the Rhode Island School of Design. Ten years later, he hired his old friend Aaron Siskind, and together they continue to train the next wave of artists and teachers. One of the things that they really instilled in their students was a profound caring for the art of photography, but more than that, for photography as a way of understanding the world and engaging with the world. When we were there in the uh, late 50s and early 60s, the photography community was tiny in this country. I think there was only two schools that gave master's degrees. And uh, now it, it all exploded, and, and they really trained several generations of, of photographers. They were just uh, our photographic parents. If you have a talent uh, and you, you enjoy it enough to, uh, to uh, use it and work at it, I think uh, it has the same sort of associationship as if you have a child. If you love it enough, uh, you, you try and take care of it. and. Uh, and keep it going. It has a life of its own. Aaron Siskin died in 1991. Harry Callahan died in 1999. An exhibition of photographs by their students opens next week at the Stephen Dater Gallery on West Superior Street. There's more information on our website, including additional clips from that 1957 Channel 11 interview between Aaron Siskin and Harry Callahan. This Art Beat segment was made possible with underwriting support from the Terra Foundation for American Art.